Okay, another one of these where we want to solve for x. So these are ones that involve, again, the uh, bases that are not equal, so we can't use the equal bases property. Instead, these problems involve taking either a natural log or a log of both sides. So again, you can either put a, an ln on both sides or an log on both sides. It doesn't actually matter uh, as long as you put the same one on both sides. Uh, I'm going to use the ln like I did in the answer key. Okay, so I, I put ln on both sides. And the whole point of doing that is because then we can use our log property that allows us to take that exponent and move it down in front. So we're going to do that uh, for each of these. So negative x comes down, I get negative x ln 5. For this other one, x plus 3 also comes down in front. So x plus 3, then I have natural log of 4. Now, uh, we want to expand this. So we're going to multiply both of these by ln 4. Remember that when you multiply ln 4 times x, it doesn't become 4x. Uh, the x actually has to remain out in front. Same with the 3. The 3 will remain out in front. You can never multiply and change anything inside uh, the ln. So negative x ln 5 will equal x ln 4 plus 3 ln 4. So we're just going to distribute ln 4 uh, into each of those in the parentheses. Uh, the idea here is you need to get all of the x's on one side of the equation. It doesn't actually matter which side you want to bring that over to. Uh, so I could subtract this x over there if I want, or I can add the negative x ln 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch places with this one and this one. So I'm going to take this one and move it across the equal sign. It'll become negative, negative 3 ln 4. And then the this one uh, is already negative on that side, so when I move it across the equal sign, it's going to become positive. So I have, uh, I have x ln 4 already on that side, but I'm adding this one, so plus x ln 5. So you want to get all the x's on one side of the equation, doesn't matter which side. Uh, the most important thing is uh, getting all the x's together. And the reason why you want to do that is because now you have a common factor that you can pull out. So I'm going to factor out an x, and we get ln 4 minus or plus rather, ln5 uh, left over. So again, taking out the common factor, x is common to each of those. Uh, you're left with ln4 plus ln5. These are not like terms, so you can't combine these anymore. Uh, then we have negative 3 ln4 on this side. The last thing that you want to do is you're going to divide both sides by ln4 plus ln5. And then you can just leave your answer it says on the test you may leave your answer in terms of logarithms, so you don't have to worry about trying to put this into a decimal. You want to just leave it as that. So here's what your final answer would be, negative 3 ln 4. On the bottom we have ln 4 plus ln 5. Now if you uh, subtracted the x and had that on that side and you had negatives on the bottom like this, that's okay as well. So there, I do take variations of this kind of problem on the test. Uh, if you have you know, this top one's positive and the other ones in the bottom are negative. That's what you would get if you bring the ln4 over to the left-hand side. Perfectly fine. That's the same equivalent answer. Uh, so I do take a look at the, the different variations. Uh, but again, if you have either ln or log in your answer, both of those would be correct.